Good day, everybody. This is Kevin Hogan coming to you live from Victoria, Minnesota. Someday I'll come to you dead from Victoria, Minnesota. But for today and for the next several days, I'm going to be live. So today, how do you get out of an argument? How do you get out of an argument? You know, it's a pretty important thing because people become emotional when they're around other people, right? And we always get into arguments about the silliest, goofiest, littlest, most irrelevant things. So there you are, you're at home or you're at the office, and all of a sudden you have an argument. You're arguing about, I was talking to my brother today, and Fred calls up and he's like, he says, Kev, he says, you know, I, I don't like this about Trump, and I don't like this about Clinton. And I said, well, you know, one good thing about Trump is this. And he's like, I can see we shouldn't be talking about this right now. And I said, you know, for me, it's not a big deal because I'm not voting and I don't care. But I could see he was upset on the telephone. Had he been in the same room as me, here's what I would have done. I would have done what I would do if I was in an argument with Tia. Tia's on the camera today. All right. So now, by the way, I just took you from talking about my brother Fred over to Tia, which means I changed your mental position. Now instead of you thinking me talking to my brother, I'm not talking to somebody else. That's number one. Number two, now T and I were going to have an argument. Say, say she, There's plenty of things that she, I could probably get angry with her about or she could get angry with me about. One thing I get upset about, I don't have a jacket on. It's uh, 41 degrees. The sun is coming down over here, right? And so I'm thinking, okay, if we got into an argument, what would I do at home, say? So I'd go, oh, you know what, honey, let's take a walk. And so we take a walk, and so we get out of the house, and we go up the driveway and up the block, and we come over to where the lakes are. You can see the lakes behind me, right? And the lakes are cool, and this whole process changes the context 100%. First of all, it's really hard to be angry with someone when you change the context. So you leave the house, and you go to the lake. Look at the lake back here. It's almost impossible to be upset with anything with that behind you. It just says serenity and peace and calm. The Dalai Lama is back here, okay? The Dalai Lama is sitting over there on a boat. I'm telling you, that's how calm it is here. But it doesn't even have to be calm. It's just that it's different. In fact, on the lake in November, there's lots and lots of Canadian geese, lots of mallards, all kinds of ducks that are just gorgeous. And every time you see one of those things, it takes your mind off of what was upsetting you. And so the person, they were really angry with you about something. They can't remember what it was. It's like, you remember this argument you had, right? You know this one, right? It's like, and, and I'm not mad, I, and you're doing this and, oh, what was I upset about? I can't remember. There was something I was angry about, and I don't know what it was, but I was mad. And so you take the person on, you're on the walk, and you've changed the context, and you've come to the lake, right? And so now we're here, and we have this amazing scene behind us. And, you're like, and the person has so many new stimuli coming into their brain, so much new stimulus, that they can't even think of what they were upset about. Third piece is that we have the sun going down over here. The sun is coming down, it's darker. As it gets darker, Kevin's eyes dilate, right? The pupils dilate, and when the pupils dilate, it just means that as the person looks at you, and they're looking right in the eyes, and you're sitting there saying, hey, how you doing? You know, I don't know what's really happening, and I'm not sure why we're upset, but don't you think it'll be okay? Because we really don't want to have any kind of a challenge. And look at the ducks are back there, right? You know what I'm saying? So your pupils dilate. You can't be mad at a person when their pupils are dilated. That's like being mad at a little baby. You can't do that. You see the ducks, they go over there, and now the person has totally forgot about what they were angry about. Or what they'll say is, okay, well, here's the deal. I'm, st I'm still not happy. They're lying. They're totally lying right now. Because you know why? Because you're outside, you're in the dark, you're sitting here with the lake behind you, and your boyfriend is freezing while you wear his jacket, right? You can't lose now. So here's the deal. I'm sitting here, it's 41 degrees. 41 degrees is five Celsius. It's chilly, okay? So she can't possibly be angry anymore. And so what happens next? So now what happens next is I'm gonna take the video camera in just a minute, and then we're gonna walk down the long and winding road. You see that over there? And as you take the long and winding road, you see many, many more things that are really cool and really beautiful. And how do you end up that day? Here's the deal. You end up the day in 90 minutes watching the Chicago Cubs defeat the Cleveland Indians live on television, tying up the World Series, 
game three to game three. It's going to four tomorrow night. I'm going to be watching right here. You guys let me know what happens. And let's not have an argument about how good the Cubs are. They're going to win tonight. See ya next time.